I'm pregnant. There's a tiny little penis in there. Okay, okay, this is a bad start. Page 187. How to do children. That has not aged well. Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going through Colleen Ballinger's or Miranda Singh's old content, specifically her Netflix live show and her book. That cost me £10 off Amazon. I spent £10 on that. I'd like to say I'm ashamed, but this is why you need to subscribe to this channel because I need to recoup as much money as possible to save myself from the embarrassment. Let's see what Netflix commissioned her. Let's see what it's got to entail. I'm really looking forward to it. I know we've barely begun, but that says everything you need to know about Colleen's content. Every single member of the audience is at least 12. Maximum. There is nobody who they have shown in that beginning intro video who is older than 12. That is terrifying. Let's see if the content that Miranda Sings posts is appropriate for children. I already know, but it's not. Miranda, what are you doing? You're supposed to be on stage. I can't go on stage right now. I'm busy. Busy doing what? Hello? I'm waiting for this scab to form so I can pick it. I'll tell you what, the character is clearly aimed at children. Like that is so like instinctly obvious just by that small interaction that we've had there. So why does Miranda Sings go on in these live shows to have children trying to get cheese puffs out of her trousers? Why has she aimed a character at children and then made the show incredibly sexual? Why have you done that? Please welcome to the stage, Colleen Ballinger! can't get over the fact that every time it cuts back from Colleen to the audience that it's just children. Every single person watching this is a kid. I quite like the uh, Miranda Sings, Colleen Ballinger kind of like uh, duo that she's got going on, like the duo of herself. You know, I would have said it was a character, but after watching her ukulele apology, I would say it's actually some form of like Batman Arkham Asylum villain. She's like Two-Face, apart from both of the characters are inherently evil. And you guys are never going to believe me when I tell you this, but I'm pregnant. There's a tiny little penis in there. Okay, this is a bad start. That's your unborn child. That's the line you've gone for in front of loads of children. What is this? Netflix, man, they sat down with writers and they wrote this. You know, this is a big team of people. Loads of people spent their time going, do you know what? That's a funny and appropriate joke. Is that weird? Are there kids here? You know there are kids here. Every single person in the audience is a child. It does not make it any better that you're self-aware. In argument, that's weirder. That's stranger. That's more odds. People come up to me and they want to rub my tummy and they're like, oh, how sweet a baby. And I'm like, that's not a baby. I haven't pooped in two weeks. But keep rubbing, maybe it will help. Wow, she got paid to do this, did she? The bar is uh, literally on the floor. There's one thing that I will say, is at least she isn't doing like a whole song and dance about it. That's the only way this could get worse. I'm very uncomfortable when it comes to confrontation and hate, but I'm a little bit better at it when I can hide behind my camera like a coward. So I write songs about the hate that I get, and I would love to sing one for you guys tonight, if that's cool. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh no, this could not get worse. No, I can't believe there is law behind the ukulele. There's ukulele law. She likes to write songs about the hate she gets. Yeah, we know. Somebody should have stopped you. You shouldn't be writing. Stop writing songs about hate. Awesome. I got my ukulele. Oh no. Oh God. I was joking. When I said don't make a song and dance about it, I really meant it. Don't do it, Colleen. I feel like a time traveler who's like gone back in time and is like trying to stop somebody from doing something. You know, like when you go back in time, you got like get rid of a uh, baby Hitler. I'm using the term get rid of because uh, the alternative is uh, horrific. Although it is baby Hitler. But it's weird, right? Isn't it odd to do this? Isn't this a strange approach? Uh, but I can't wait. We've got another song. We're, we're halfway to towards an EP. All of the lyrics to this song are hate comments that I have received. So there's a lot of bad words and there is some crude language in this song. So to all of the mothers that I'm about to offend, um, thank you. 
Yeah, I mean, not the only mothers you've offended. Um, why don't you talk to the kids in the group chat who uh, you are really weird to and sent underwear to? Why don't you apologise to their mothers instead of making a ukulele song about it where you refuse to apologise? Roses are red, violets are blue, porn of his down, Colleen Ballinger will do. Her face is a rip-off, so sad. Nice funking forehead. Singing about Pornhub in front of a bunch of, like, 13-year-olds in the audience, as Netflix has helped us to establish, is a weird move. That's a strange thing to do. Especially because they've got a big screen up behind them, which means this is more than pre planned. You know, they thought this was like a really, really good idea and not incredibly weird at all. What a strange show. What was the premise of this? To be as like weird and sexual in front of children as possible? Was that like their goal? This whole show confuses me. I am like absolutely blown away by it. And we haven't even got onto the book yet. And, you know, let's read through some of the chapters on there. So, this is what we've got coming up in uh, Colleen Ballinger's uh, self help book. Um, I wouldn't be following uh, her advice. Self-help by Miranda Sinks. So what we've got is um, on page three, love. On page 187, just one that's just called uh, kids. I don't even really want to get there. I think that's probably where we'll start. Uh, we can skip through the rest. It's all just uh, kind of shit. So let's get rid of that. Hopefully the rest of this uh, Netflix show will be better than um, what we've got coming up there. She has a uniboob. I'm pretty sure her vagina smells like cat food. That one's accurate. Fucking hell. Is this really like the level on Netflix nowadays, man? Like we got Bo Burnham and then we've got this. This is like um, female Bo Burnham if Bo Burnham was incredibly unfunny. So female Bo Burnham. Sorry. That's a bad, that's a terrible, that's a bad joke. That's, that would get me a Netflix special, unironically. Call my agent. Think that I'm hurt or I'm feeling abused, but I'm not, I'm getting paid from your comments and views. How could somebody be so insecure that they've gone on their Netflix special and made a song where they go, I'm making loads of money and I don't care if you hate me. That's why I've made a song about it and spent time screenshotting these for a long time. It's pathetic. If you didn't care, you just ignore them. I mean, I know that you had to make this show about something, but you know, maybe you could have tried to make it actually funny. That's uh, just a suggestion. Dum da dum, dum da dum, you sound so dumb, dum dum, you sound so dumb. What the duck is wrong with her face? Duck, 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 ah, they're eight year olds watching this. I love that. Uh, there are eight year olds watching this. At least somebody's acknowledged it. At least somebody knows. That's a valid comment. That's not a hate comment. That's what all the internet is saying nowadays. You know, there were eight year olds watching this. And apparently if you were 13, you could be added to a group chat with Colleen where she would befriend you as a 30 year old woman with kids. And she would talk to you every single day about her relationship with her husband, why her life was falling apart, and she'd also send you nude pictures of Trisha Paytas. Those are all things that she did. Why did she do them? When she was clearly this successful? We'll never know. No offense. You know, I'm not a marinade, so none taken. You might think that I'm hurt or I'm feeling abused, but I'm not. I'm getting paid from your comments and views. Yeah, okay, this is embarrassing. You may think that I'm upset, but I swear I'm not because the cash keeps rolling in. I mean, we could tell based on your latest ukulele song that quite clearly it has driven you borderline mental. All right, scratch borderline, just mental. Dum da dum, dum da dum, you sound so dumb, dum dum, you sound so dumb. Everybody, dum da dum, there you go. Are these the same chords to Toxic Gossip Train? I know we've got my uh, ukulele in the background here. Uh, somebody has um, actually written something on it. Uh, it says, don't touch. I guess that's a warning we'll ignore. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Uh, that's not necessary. So it goes like... It's uh, actually quite catchy. So that's something I can credit it for. Uh, but you know what? The hate doesn't really bother me that much. I'm usually able to let the hate just roll off my shoulders. But every once in a while, there's just one comment that gets to me. And the comments go like this. Please don't groom children. It's not a good thing to do. I think they're saying along those lines uh, uh, recently. That's kind of what they're saying. All right, let's uh, put that back. I don't want to ever touch that uh, really ever again for the foreseeable future. Um, unless uh, I get in trouble. Then I I'm getting like an entire uh, quartet band playing. And we're going to make the greatest apology rock song you've ever seen. See, I 
thought if I Googled myself, I would feel better, but that's not what happened. What happened was I noticed these words in bold. These are the most frequently searched things on Google. Okay, so those are the most frequently searched things on Google as of this Netflix special. Um, and uh, well, let's just say that they probably, if we check, have changed. All right, if we go to Google.com and we uh, open and we type in Colleen Ballinger, uh, it now says uh, grooming, <laughs> Reddit husband drama, tour brother, Twitter, Trisha Paytas, movies and TV shows. Uh, in case you want to stick something on that's fun for all the family. Or not all the family. Maybe keep the kids outside. It might scare them. Wow, how uh, times change. Is Colleen Ballinger. And the most frequently searched thing on Google when you type in is Colleen Ballinger. A groomer. Um, I think that's probably what it would be now. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not Google. Don't ask me. Maybe ask Jeeves. He knows. So I tried something else. I typed in, did Colleen Ballinger. Message those children. Uh, sorry. Ignore me. I'm ruining this show. Apologies. Let's try and enjoy it. Where was Colleen Ballinger thinking there is no way that this could be about me dying? Well, I was wrong because it was buried. So thank you, oh, I love my fans. We know you love your fans, maybe too much. Try and keep away from them, especially if they're teenagers. Now this is actually what inspired my most recent book called My Diary by Miranda Sings. Some of you brought it, thank you. You guys are the best. Yeah, I don't have that one uh, because it was only available on Kindle. And uh, as much as I wanted to make this video, I'm not buying a bloody Kindle at the moment uh, just to read that book. But if you guys enjoy this video and you would like me to, I will buy a Kindle and I will sit here with my Kindle and I will read that book to you guys. If that is so what your heart desires. But we do have the next best thing, and that is Self Help by Miranda Sings. Now, um, as I said, there's a section of this book that is just aptly titled Kids on page 187. So um, let's give it a read. Now, when you turn to this page in this book, after everything that's happened, I think um, I think kind of the page that says uh, how to do children has aged uh, quite uh, horrifically. How to do children by Miranda Sings. Whether it's depression or a bad marriage, baby, is a great way to fix things. Well, we know that because that's what she told all of the teenagers in the Twitter group chat. But you can't just have a baby, you have to make sure you're ready. Start with getting a goldfish. After eight days when the goldfish dies, get a hamster. After the hamster dies, upgrade to a cat. After the cat dies, get a dog. After the dog dies, you are ready to have a baby. That's uh, the type of comedy uh, that you get in one of these. Another good way to get ready is to practice. This is called babysitting. Babysitting is great because if you do decide you don't like it, you can just leave. I I'd assume that's what she called talking to all of those teenagers in that group chat. He was just looking after them for their original parents. This book is really weird. Like there's just like this kind of weird section like how to change a baby. Like why is that in here uh, at a book aimed for like children? And it's clearly aimed for children by the way, because like, I mean, just look at the way that this thing is laid out. Like this is not not aimed at adults at all. You can't pretend what it is. Yeah, this book starts to get incredibly weird the more that you go into it. So you've got this section here uh, that says getting older. Uh, it says, as you have read, babies are useless until they get older. Eventually they will become toddlers, or as I like to call them, slaves. Interesting choice of words there, Miranda Sings. This is the time when you can have them do things for you. Now, what do you reckon the first thing that Miranda Sings or Colleen Ballinger would get her new toddler to do for her? Well, I could tell you whatever you think it is, it is not what you have guessed. Because what it actually is, with a picture attached, is foot massage. You, you think I'm joking? I'm not joking. That uh, is a picture of her toddler giving her a foot massage in this book. I feel like I've got a hold of like the flight logs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. It's just weird. Like, uh, I, I'm, I'm reading this book, and, and I know Colleen said it before, but she based the Miranda Sings character on, like, uh, I think it was like a disabled family member, uh, apparently. Uh, that's what I've read on the internet. Not everything on the internet is true, but um, I'm reading this and uh, I'm very likely to believe it. Like the character just seems to be somebody who has the mental age of a child. That seems to be what it is. Like she's kind of taking the mick out of like uh, people who uh, struggle, who are like mentally, I guess, not quite capable of uh, doing stuff. And that's what the character is about. That's quite obvious. You watch any of the content. She's like pretending to be um, somebody who's uh, not quite all there. She's pretending to be somebody who you'd see on TikTok live. <laughs> this character has not aged well uh basically is what i'm trying to say this is this is a character that should have been left behind in 2009 
uh, approximately probably when it was created, to be honest. But the book's just a little weird. Like I wouldn't want like my potential future child to be reading that or attending this show, especially because this show gets weirder and weirder as it goes on. So in kind of like the halfway point, the second part of the act, she transforms into Miranda Sings, um, which is uh, a really fascinating comedic watch. So uh, enjoy. And if I'm flying solo, at least I'm flying. She's singing Defying Gravity. No, this is, no, no. How could two worlds collide? How could Elphaba and Miranda Sings be the same person? There is no way this is, that, that, I only just caught on that that's the song. No, this is scary, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. No wizard that there is or wants is ever going to bring It blows my mind that Miranda Sings wasn't based on Elphaba. It's almost like Elphaba was based on Miranda Sings, but Elphaba is a real human being. They are the same person. Now, this is the part of the show that makes me massively uncomfortable, and I can't believe they did this in front of people, let alone it was filmed, and a team of people worked on this, and then it made it to Netflix, because this is just actually kind of terrifying. Now, what you might not know is that porn is happening all around you. Even right now, there are people being porn in this very room, and I cannot have that. So, I'm going to need two volunteers right now. There's nothing weirder than going, porn is all around you. Hello, child audience, can I have two volunteers? I need to explain this. I need two people to help me, and they're going to be you, my teenage audience. It's a fascinating show. It's a, it's a terrifying show. Um, how about you right here in the red pants? I need one more. Oh, there's a lot of you. Um, how about in the skirt right here? Yeah, in the skirt. Yeah, that's a weird thing to point at somebody in the audience. Yeah, you in the nice skirt, come here. When this person comes on stage, let's guess how old we reckon they are. I'm going to say no older than 15. Listen up. Kalina over here is wearing a nice button-up shirt all the way to the tippity top, nice long sleeves, pants that go all the way down to the floor. This is very nice, very conservative. This is a perfect example of not porn. This is a teenager. That is a teenager. What is this? Now, the thing about this bit is it, okay, if you pick two people out of the audience, it's still weird, obviously. It's a strange thing to do as a comedy special, as a bit. But it's even weirder because I was told uh, in the group chats that people would have with uh, Miranda Sings, um, if you read the stuff online, that apparently she would ask people on purposely to turn up dressed as her and then also dressed like in kind of skimpier clothing that was like implied as something you needed to do. So this bit could obviously happen because obviously if people came up all dressed in long clothes, she couldn't do this bit for Netflix. So it was like a well kind of known thing that like she wanted people to turn up teenagers dressed like this so she could do this joke otherwise it's a whole part of the show that's missing maybe just don't write this part of the show in that would be my suggestion hire me hire me netflix is porn okay her skirt is so short all it will take is one really big gust of wind and we'll see all the creases and crevices what a strange thing to say about a teenage woman who you've brought up on stage this is mental i can't believe this show is real and the top goes so low we can see the entire chesticle crack and it gets worse the more we watch the worse this show gets how did somebody commission this why would somebody commission this this is so tight, we can see the entire shape of the badonka donk Inappropriate! Which means, this needs to go, all right? This is never going to work. There's only one thing that we can do for someone who is this porny, okay? Now, you may think this is the only time where Miranda brings somebody on stage and uh, tries to humiliate them. Uh, but you would be wrong. She also brings a small boy on stage, and let's see how she handles that. Um, what's your name? Aldair. Are you related to Andrew over there, um, Aldeir? Yeah. <laughs> sure, that works. Aldeir. I love it. It's like, Aldeir! I could do it all day. The show fucking sucks. This <laughs> is shit. I know that's not exactly anything fun uh, to add to the video, but um, it's worth keeping in. 
What do you do for a living? Uh, watch you on YouTube. <laughs> We have a flirt in the house tonight. What an ordinary thing to say to a child that you're flirting with me. This is an odd show. I, I genuinely thought that maybe I'd seen it all when it comes to YouTube, right? Like, I, I thought that maybe everything that could possibly have happened that would weird me out, I'd been unseen. But uh, the one thing I've learned with this YouTube channel is every single week we will find new people who make me equally as uncomfortable. And isn't that wonderful? Okay, all there. <laughs> Love that. Now, I have three very sexy men boys on stage. Oh, that's, that's hard. That's a hard watch. That's a hard watch. That's a hard watch. I have three very sexy men, no, boys on stage. The fact that she acknowledges it once again makes it even weirder. This show is for the insane. This is something that they play to somebody in an insane asylum um, to, to teach them that maybe, you know, if they get out on good behavior, they have a future in comedy. Uh, they, they're like the Joker, which clearly is what the character is so horrifically based on. What? The hell is this? All of them are ready and excited to be the father to this child. Um, so you can all handle this responsibility, you think? So she's got them up there as like, who wants to be the father of my kid? She's got like two 35 year old men who honestly, I, I hope they like really reevaluate their lives and the fact they bought tickets to go to this. One of them is wearing her merch. You know, how, how could it get any worse? But she's auctioning off her child to another child to be the father of the child on stage. All in the name of comedy, man. And people are laughing at it. Uh, there really is um, no lack of people for any form of content is there. Uh, every Everything finds its home eventually. Summer dreams ripped at the seams. The heart. The So much chemistry on stage right now. Like I said, I can only pick one bay to be the daddy to this child. So I'm gonna get out something called the Bayometer. so awkward i won yeah well thank god you didn't let it be the kid uh but you got them up on stage anyway and had them compete so uh, the damage is already done there's a part of this that i'm gonna blur out where like she shows herself up on stage as like a child and in one of them she's naked and this is what she has to say about it i have been acting like and dressing like biblical characters my entire life i have pictures from when i was a wee little taunt dressing like every famous biblical character there ever was look at this here's me as an angel me as moses me as mother mary me the prostitute there's something very odd about putting up a picture of yourself as like a child naked and then calling yourself a prostitute something even weirder after doing it after comparing yourself to religious characters not much funny about it though it doesn't really end there with this like every time she went on tour with this show she would always be kind of doing weird stuff with people on stage you know she did the cheese puffs incident where she bought somebody up on stage asked them they're like a small boy if they were going to like put like you know their hand in their trousers and eat the cheese puffs now i have this clip it's uh from my second channel actually because i can't find the original video so subscribe uh to the alex elmsley channel link in the description below you should we post every single day on there pretty much where she talked about bringing one of these kids on stage and this is what they had to say to her this is a child by the way talking to her about this bit she does where she asks kids to like put their hand down their trousers and this is how it played out right at the show something really funny happened there um is a part in the show where i bring up different boys that like Miranda flirts with basically on stage and there's this part where like I try to get a guy to put like his hand down my pants I know it sounds really bad but it's 
totally harmless. I don't believe it. It's totally harmless, Colleen Ballinger. I think asking a child to put um, your hand on their trousers in front of thousands of people is humiliating and also a really weird and unnecessarily sexual thing. Like, why are you taking part in anything borderline sexual with a child in any way, joke or not? It's odd. There's no excuse for it. Leave them alone. You know, why are you doing that? It'd be even weirder if you got like an adult on stage to do it in front of children. It would still be weird. It's a weird bit and it's not totally harmless, clearly. You you idiot. Yeah, um, as you can see from Alex there, that's the appropriate reaction to watching that bit. It's absolutely mental, isn't it, mate? The whole show, the whole act has somehow gone under the radar for so long. And it's so incredibly dark and terrifying that I don't even know how this was humanly possible. I don't know how this got through as many of the people as it had to get through to get approved. I do not understand it. Well, that's it from this video. If you want me to go read another one of Miranda Singh's books, I will uh, buy my Kindle. Uh, leave a like if we hit like 15,000 likes, then I'll do it. And uh, I will see you guys soon. But, uh, you know, I, I feel very moved by this and, it, and it's quite upset me. So um, I think I'm going to need some time to go and like process my feelings. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys um, in a bit. Oh, well, fuck me. That was absolutely mental. Uh, what is wrong with YouTubers? They're insane. They're all just crazy. Um, uh, Oh, oh, old tweets. Um, yeah, not even I'm that fucking mental. I'm gonna go have a beer.